Hi dear students, welcome to Geeta's classes. In this class, we are going to find out the Laplace transform of the function root of t plus 1 by root of t the whole cube. So how to find out L of root t plus 1 by root t the whole cube. First we have to expand this cube. What is the formula for a plus b the whole cube is equal to a cube plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cube. This is the expansion. So first let us expand this. So L of root of t the whole cube a cube plus 3 into a squared that is root t the whole squared. Here a is equal to root t b is 1 by root t into 1 by root t plus 3 into root t into 1 by root t the whole square plus 1 by root t the whole cube. So this is equal to L of root t the whole cube is t power 3 by 2 plus 3 into root t 1 root t will get cancelled. So this is 3 into t power 1 by 2 plus 3 into here 1 root t will get cancelled. So 3 into 1 by root t. So t power minus 1 by 2 plus uh, t power minus 3 by 2. If you bring it to the numerator, it will become t power minus 3 by 2. So this is equal to L of t power 3 by 2. By using linear, linear linearity property of Laplace transforms, uh, we will split like this. So L of t power 1 by 2 plus 3 into L of t power minus 1 by 2 plus L of t power minus 3 by 2. Please remember we know that the Laplace transform of t power n is equal to n factorial by s power n plus 1 is our formula or else we can write gamma of n plus 1 divided by s power n plus 1. So when to use which formula? When n is an integer, that is if n takes the values 1, 2, 3, etc. Then we can find out the factorial for that. For power 3 by 2 and all, we cannot find out the factorial, right? So in that case, you have to use gamma function. So when n is an integer, we can use n factorial by s bar n plus 1. Or if it is a fraction like this 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 and all, you have to write it as gamma of n plus 1 formula. So this can be written as gamma of 3 by 2 plus 1 divided by s power 3 by 2 plus 1. L of t power n is gamma of n plus 1 by s power n plus 1. This is the formula. Okay. So plus 3 into L, uh, 3 into gamma of 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by s power 1 by 2 plus 1 plus 3 into gamma of minus 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by s power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus gamma of minus 3 by 2 plus 1 divided by s power minus 3 by 2 plus 1. Okay. So this is equal to First one is L of uh, gamma 5 by 2 by S power 5 by 2 plus 3 into gamma of 3 by 2 by S power gamma of 3 by 2 by S power 3 by 2 plus 3 into gamma of 1 by 2 divided by S power 1 by 2. plus gamma of 3 by 2 minus 1. So here this is minus 1 by 2 plus 1 that is 1 by 2. Minus 3 by 2 plus 1 is minus 1 by 2. So plus gamma of minus 1 by 2 divided by s power minus 1 by 2. So we know the values of gamma of 1 by 2 as root pi and gamma of minus 1 by 2 as minus 2 into root pi. These are the standard values and gamma of 1 is 1. 
So gamma of phi by two, gamma of three by two, and all you are going to simplify this using the formula. Gamma of n plus one is equal to n into gamma of n. Or you can write gamma of n is equal to in the place of n plus one. If you write n, the previous value that is n minus one into gamma of n minus one, you can write. Okay. So using this, uh, uh, so gamma of phi by two is what gamma of phi by two. Is equal to n minus one. That is three by two into gamma of three by two. So three by two into what is gamma of three by two? Three by two minus one. That is one by two into gamma of one by two. So if you have uh, phi by two, three by two, and all, you should keep on simplifying till you get gamma of one by two or gamma of minus one by two or gamma of one. Okay, like that. So here, if you apply this. Gamma of phi by two can be written as three by two into one by two into gamma of one by two divided by s per phi by two. Already we have plus three into gamma of three by two is what? One by two into gamma of one by two. So one by two into gamma of one by two divided by s per three by two plus three into gamma of one by two. Divided by s per one by two plus gamma of minus one by two divided by s per minus one by two, so which is equal to three by four into gamma of one by two is root pi divided by s per five by two plus three by two into gamma of one by two is root pi divided by s per three by two. Plus three into gamma of one by two is root pi divided by s per one by two, and you know that gamma of minus half is minus two root pi divided by s per minus one by two. Actually, this is the answer. You can stop like this. Or by book answer, sometimes they'll ask you to prove like root of pi by four and all. You can take root pi by root pi is common in all the term, and four also can be. Taken in the denominator from the denominator. So gamma of uh, sorry L of root t plus one by root t. The whole cube is equal to three by four root pi by four. I am going to take it outside. So first is three by s per five by two to look it neat. That's all s per five by two. Nothing else. Only for convenience for looking neat. Six divided by s per. We have three. Three by four we have taken outside. Only two is there in the denominator. So we have to multiply by two. Okay. S per three by two. Then plus. We have only three and divided by four, so four should be multiplied. So twelve uh, root pi we have taken outside. So twelve divided by s per one by two minus uh, two by s per minus one by two. So four is there, so it will be eight minus eight divided by s per minus one by two. So if you have any doubt, you can multiply and see. Okay, three by four and six by four. One two two will get cancelled. Six by a uh, three by two you will be getting. Similarly here, four and four three you will be getting, and at four and four two. Okay, two divided by s bar minus one by two. If you multiply, you will get the previous term. So this is an extra problem for uh, by using. Uh, the basic functions using gamma function how to do the problems thank you so much for listening please uh, share it with your friends and give a like